earlier at the start, uh, Larry was connecting Justice Mondays uh, to today's focus on education. And very simply, one of my teacher colleagues, Cornelius Minor, over in New York, uh, a while ago at a conference, he said, police bullets kill immediately, teacher bullets kill over the course of 12 years. Wow. Right. We as teachers and educators must wage struggle from the inside. We are in the institution, but not of the institution. And one of the best ways to do this is through writing curriculum. That's right. Yes, writing curriculum. As I said before, the numbers alone expose part of the problem. We are 10 to 15 percent of the national numbers. Understanding how racism and white supremacy work should tell us that there are plenty of teachers who have no problem at all with the status quo of racial mistruth being taught. And we don't have to go to Florida or Texas for that sentiment. That ignorance is right here at home in New Jersey. Most of these fellow teachers avoid curriculum writing because they find it to be tedious and time consuming. They don't necessarily have any issues with the content, and so the motivation is minimal. For social justice educators, for those that are about teaching the truth, Break it down. one of the things we should do most, right, is do more curriculum writing. For obvious reasons, when we have the opportunity to write curriculum, we can officially and formally correct the wrongs and write and provide the real lessons of learning in our units and lessons. To be real about this work, we have to do that curriculum writing. You know why? It's not glamorous. Right? I'm waking up literally on, on summer mornings, right, five or six o'clock in the morning, writing curriculum. That's not glamorous, but you know what? When September and October and November comes, and some of those parents come in and they want to challenge me about what you teach, Mr. Whitaker, you know what? I wrote the damn curriculum, right? And so we can we can stop this discussion right now. I wrote the curriculum, right? And so that's a a, a, a strategy, right, that we have to understand and we have to take. Uh, we have to be prepared to do battle with our parents. We actually have to be prepared to do, do battle with our students, right? I'm sad to say I teach 11th and 12th grade, but so often by the time my students get to me, they have been beaten down by white supremacy from kindergarten, first, second, third, fifth, sixth, eighth, ninth. So here I come, right, with my, you know, black literature and everything, and I want to teach you your stuff. And they're like, yo, man, miss me with that. Ain't nobody cared about me. Right, and so that's a part of the struggle, right? It's it's real for those of us that are in the in the in the trenches, as you say. It's real talk. It's real struggle. So we need to have some affinity group meetings, right, with, with black families, right, and we talk about not only what's happening in the system, all right, but what we have to do as a part of the struggle, right? And everybody has a role to play: parents, right, students, teachers, administrators. So I'm going to end here. Um, Baldwin said to be Negro, right, we'll say to be black in this country, and to be relatively conscious is to exist in the state of rage. And so our work is cut out for us.